Hello everybody and welcome back uh, to the Waifu Revenge. Ba -na -na -ba -na -na -ba -ba. Alrighty. So, in the previous episode, I went ahead and asked if you guys would prefer one dungeon per one video, or if you would prefer how I've been doing it. Now, much to my surprise, you guys were actually very one-sided in that you guys really seem to enjoy to like how I've been doing it. Um, a couple comments I saw were, it makes me more unique, um, it's more enjoyable to get a lot more content video to video, and of course, it's always a good thing to hear my thought processes and see how we get into each situation. Now, I do have to give a little bit of a thank you to you guys, because you were all very sweet um, in basically saying that you preferred my style of video, um, especially the, this style makes me unique, um, that it, it's, a, basically, you guys were all super sweet, um, and I mean, I'm not good at the mushy stuff, you guys probably know this from over time, but, um, it did really mean a lot. So, we are going to keep doing things how we're doing it. Um, I just had a little bit of a moment where I was like, ah, you know, may, like maybe I'm doing it in a way that people don't like, but I've never actually asked. So, I, I'm really glad that I did, because it reaffirmed that you guys, it, well, how do I explain? It makes me feel good knowing that you guys are here and you're hanging out because, potentially, you guys are like, Wow, this guy's playing the same sort of thing as me, and he's at least somewhat funny. So, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I never really, I don't ask people to sub or leave likes or anything. So, I, I like to think the people who do stick around, stick around because they actually like the content. Um, and potentially really like hanging out with me. So, you know, it felt good to know that I was doing it in a way that you guys enjoyed. But, yeah, I, my thoughts are all over the place with that. But, basically, the end of the line thing is, thank you. You were all very sweet to me. So, what we're going to do in this episode, moving on from that mushy stuff, is we are going to level up some of our lower level characters. As you can see, we still have one screen full of characters who are below level 3, and we're going to need to fix that at some point. I mean, we don't have to, but I would like to. Um, so, what we're going to do is I'm going to take them to the Warrens, even though it is our most explored place and we could technically go to the Ruins. There's something I want to do at the Warrens. Oh boy, I sure do hope you guys enjoy long videos, because look at this crap. Dude, first scout of the dungeon. One, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. Four, five. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god. What is with all the battles? Dude, I know we're on Blood Moon, but come on. <laughs> ah, oh well. Barista in the man-at-arms with a fortifying garlic hammer and tongs, Defender, Retribution, Command, and Bolster. Me, the Scourge, with Elizabeth's head, Dismas's head, all of my abilities. The Fool, with the Jack-O-Lantern, because she's very scary. Ancestor's Map, because she doesn't know where she's going. Whale, because she has to take it. Weeping Song, First Circle, and Fifth Circle. And, of course, the Plague Doctor with the Ancestors Scroll, Bloodthirst Ring, Plague... Wait. Nope. Hang on. Incision, just in case, Disorienting Blast, Battlefield Medicine, and Emboldening Vapors. Okay, well, here we go. I'm sure everything will go fine. Whoa! Max roll, you love to see it. Are you dead? No, but you are very close, aren't you? This hits two people, doesn't it? Oh, so tempted. I won't, but just know that I was tempted. Okay, next up. Stun your buddy, get rid of the corpse. Okay. Now, 
Set up the repost. Uh oh. Bump in the night. But you can't hit me. Okay. Server one twice. The ninth gate. Shades and dream things. Well. What can I say? I love the taste of a good dead cultist. Uh, let me see. No, we're all good. What if I just stun you again? Oh, <laughs> wait, it actually worked? Wow. Uh, what was that? 50% stun resistance and we pulled that off. That is, uh, pretty juicy. Uh-oh, all of this is dreams. Dreams without end. Fog shrouds my eyes again. Oh, hey, for the hollow. A br oh, the hollow's dead. <sighs> well, it'll be good if we ever get a revive event. By the way, um, this is totally random, but I kind of wanted to bring it up. My, uh, so, I, my computer updated on its own, which is annoying on its own. It's like, ugh, I didn't want you to update, but okay, fine. I guess you're going to anyway. But, after the update, I uh, actually tried to record the intro to this very video, and lo and behold, audio didn't record. I figured, ah, it's just one of those things, because, you know, my mic is quite old at this point, and it tends to have a little bit of problems, but uh, I went to check on the settings, because usually it just, like, disconnects, but it, you know, doesn't tell me. Lo and behold... Uh, the name of my microphone on my computer had completely changed. It used to be like a something 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 plus. Uh, yeah, now it's like UPNP or something along those lines. It's really strange. And I thought, oh, okay. Uh, Windows must not be recognizing my device and that's why it has such a weird name. No. I plugged it into different spots, same name. I restarted my computer, same name. And so I'm led to believe that for some reason or another, it has reset to its default name, which I was under the impression for the literal years I've owned this microphone, that it was already named its default name. So the name that I was so used to seeing wasn't even its default name. So, yeah, that's uh, that's been my day. <laughs> Completely random, I know, but look, I just wanted to I wanted to talk about it because it happened like in this very same episode because, you know, couldn't record the audio and then I'm like, "Whoa, why why the name change? Whoa, that's crazy." And uh, yeah, so I think what I thought was the default name of my microphone was not the default name. But now it is a default, so yeah. Very interesting stuff, I know. What's that? There's not enough battles for you in this level one dungeon? Well, how about two more? Ah, oh, boy. This is, this is gonna be a long dungeon. Long, long dungeon. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. The game likes torturing me, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I'd say so. When a simple joke statement becomes the truth. Fwah! So be it! You think you can collect my head? Then you better be willing to give a real fight for it! Now, if we could stun you, although we have no actual way to do that, but theoretically, if we could, that'd be ideal. <laughs> Let us open the gate. I have passed through the distant gate. And the repost is up. We're ready. Yeah, yeah, call your entourage. We don't care. Ooh, double highwayman with a vestal. Uh, yeah, about that not caring thing? I kind of care now. Just maybe a little bit. Hwah! Little bit of AoE damage, AoE mark, AoE bleed. 
Sorry, my nose is a little stuffy. I'm trying not to make that nasty sound, but it can be a little bit hard. Go for a stun on the collector! Ooh. Most excellent. Headache on self. That's fine. You want to buff your own damage? I don't care. Just don't buff the highway men. Speaking of. Oh, only five damage? Pfft. You guys can do so much better than that. Buff up our stress, resistance, and dodge. Okay, headhunt. Oh, that's still not that much damage. Uh, the two over three bleed is a little nasty. However, the fool is acting out and going for the collector. Very nice. Go ahead and heal that bleed on self. Give ourselves a little bit of a heal. Go for the... Double hit. On the collector. Uh, didn't need it. Yeah, did not need the second hit. Watch, this is going to be like a shambler or something. It's going to make zero sense, but a shambler is just going to come out of the walls and going to be like, Hey, buddy, what's up? I can't help but notice that you have 99 torchlight. That's dark enough for me. Hey, it's not a shambler. Road that just doesn't end. Uh, we still have more battles to go. So, two more battles and two more room battles. Awesome. You love to see it. At least it's not a collector. Actually, I'm so curious. I bet you... <laughs> oh, I'm probably jinxing it now. Th there's going to be a battle in this hall. This is going to be a room battle. And then this is going to be a room battle. Oh. Aren't you, aren't you so excited to see if I'm right about that? <laughs> ah, boy. I mean, well, depending on how fast we can get through this fight, who knows? Maybe the rest of the dungeon will actually be pretty quick. Or maybe we'll get the red plague. You know, that too. Yeah, that's uh, minus bleed resist, right? Yeah. That's, uh, that's what that is. Looks like that takes care of that. And now, for something a little bit more... strange. Okay, we don't need that. Oh boy. Here we go. So this is something I've alluded to, and uh, we're doing it now. Tonight, it twists at my heart. Alright. So. Dodge. Uh. Yep, yeah, that is the only thing that matters. Uh, minus self and remove disease? Wait, which one is that? The cure. Yeah! There we go. Okay. Now... Mm. Uh, yeah, that's it. I dream, and my mind rebels. Behold, Halo Paradol. Yes, a truly horrifying little thing, isn't it? We are going to wait. Okay. This is Halo Paradol. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but this is what I was alluding to with the fool. And it's a puzzle. And, uh, let's just hope we can get through it. The Red Door. Minus 25% max health. But yeah, we wait. Um, everyone is looking okay. Oh, by the way, uh, resistance is 500% to everything, and it is considered a revelation. Uh, meh. Fish for crits. Um, 
Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, why can we not pass a turn? The red door. Okay. Actually, debatably, we should have used this on the, uh... Ooh, might regret that. Oh, I see. We can't pass because, uh, hope is upgrading. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Minus 75% max HP. Now let's go ahead and speed ourselves up. I'm glad we had a chance to do that. Uh, debatably, we should have used both, but what are you going to do? I think she'll still be the fastest on the party. And now, the black door. How bad? Uh, not... Oh, wow, you still have a lot of health. Okay. Ouch. Or rather, I still have a lot of health. Oh, <laughs> Stop that. I'm getting tired. Why not? Maybe we should have been doing this instead of passing. And I'll explain my reasoning for everything as soon as the fight's over. Don't worry. So if you've never seen this fight and you have no idea why I'm mass passing, well, you're about to find out. The white door. I can't see. I can't see. And there it is. Three-headed dog effigy for the fool. More blight, more stun, more move, but less resistance. So, if you have no idea what just happened, Hello Paradol will use the red door three times which reduces your health by 25% each, leaving you at 25% of your normal max health. It will then go for Black Door, which, well, it, it's a little bit of a problem. But basically, Black Door does not do damage, but it has a very high chance to blight your team. Then, because of your lowered health, you have a decently high chance to just die. Then, when Haloperidol changes to the little girl... You, you need to be sure that the fool has not opened the, the ninth gate. So basically, the reason we put the fool in the first position is because she cannot use any of her abilities from the first position. This is the best way to ensure that she does not hit Haloperidol. Because if you hit... We're just going to call her the child from now on, because Haloperidol is very stupid. <laughs> Not stupid. Uh. Very long name, or at least there's a lot of syllables in it. So, when the child is out, if the fool hits the child, she kills it. Which then causes the fight to abruptly end. You do not get the trinket, you do not get the healing. So you have to just endure the child's assault, and then you will complete the nightmare event. So it's really simple. Um, what's funny is uh, the child is actually immune to all damage until she changes into her child form, which she can then take damage. And if you noticed, she only had two health. So any attack from the fool, who has a very high chance to act on her own, would have killed her. So yeah, uh, I know that's not the best explanation, but that's okay. It was good enough. Uh, 5.7k gold, 12 crests. We got two level threes, a level two, and almost another level two. Faded is amazing, and we are locking that in. Infirm is not great. Courage of the Flame in place of Luminous. Okay... Anyone new? No! <laughs> Why did I think there would be? It seems as though luck is not on our side. Alright, what do we got? 
Uh, the Swine God has made his appearance. We also have the Encore Accolades. Uh, let's go ahead and move them. Uh, minus 10%, max HP. On Monster Kill, refresh, take a bow. See, that's the one that moves her backwards, right? Let me just double check on that. Yeah, take a bow. Uh, we buff ourselves for two battles, but then we're debuffed for one battle. Huh. So technically, you could take a bow, grand entrance, or you could grand entrance, take a bow, and then another grand entrance into last laugh if they're, if they're still alive, I suppose. Hmm. There's combos there. There's combos there. Uh, let's see, we got the Kraken, Dragon Blood Crystal, uh, on attack hit, 100% lifesteal. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's, yeah, that's fairly good. Why don't we, uh, why don't we go do that? Oh, we can't bring the duo. Well, hang on. Maybe we can still make something work. A team <laughs> to go fight the uh, the Kraken. First fight. Nine turns. This ain't it, Chief. This ain't it. Also, uh, we got the Guardian class. And I figured this would be a pretty good idea to put on Sally. After all, she does have a guard. And normally it only lasts one turn. So... Potentially buffing up a guard as the guardian sounds pretty good. Except it lowers my dodge. So it's not good because I'm not a protection guarder. I'm a dodge guarder. So that just sucks. <laughs> uh, more health, more protection, 50% more guard duration. Apparently rounded upwards because the guard duration is actually three turns rather than two. Um, but yeah, no, that minus 10 dodge might not seem like a lot, but the hood needs her dodge. Then again, it might not be the worst thing ever, um, considering one use of Uwu, what's this, gives us at rank 5, 20. So, you know, it's not horrible, especially because we're not going to be using this every single turn anyway. But what are you gonna do? Now, the issue arises, we are doing no damage. We are not doing damage at all. So, yeah. Also, my shuffling could have been better. So, what I'm gonna do, real quick. Bam, bam. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Okay. Uh, let's see if this is better. We're gonna run into one more fight, and if it does not go well... We're just going to leave, because honestly, with the amount of damage that we're not doing. It'd be better if we just leave. 15 damage, you are left with 6. Lower their accuracy, leave them with nothing. Manning wine. Nice miss. <laughs> Rip Bozo. I'm dodging. And then I will, uh, I'll guard. Flurry of claws. How about no? Okay, never mind. I guess we're not stunning, but we are dodging, so, you know, swings and rounds about. Lash of the tail. Flurry of claws. Okay, well, so far, so good. The Thirst. Nice dodge. Uh, yeah, let's just kill one of them, please. Okay. Now, I'm gonna use a cat. Okay. Go for a heal. Ha! Kaboom! Yeah, we're just not, uh, I'm not impressed. Really not impressed. I'm gonna go for a block. A guard, rather, not a block. 
Uh, oh no, it, it does immediately, what? Okay, so it is still three rounds. It just immediately cycles down to two. Resisted Crimson Curse, that means we actually had a roll for it, so that's not good. We get a big slice of pie, according to Sally. <laughs> okay, take out the mosquito. Uh, give him a little bit of a smack. And then go for a heal. Goodness. I mean, defensively, we're doing really well. Aggressively, not so much. Hey, our main damage dealer just got stunned. Awesome, awesome. At least we took out a gargoyle. Uh, yeah, this does not seem like the kind of dungeon that I want to continue in. Especially with how long we still have to go. Hmm. This might be one of the few times I retreat, not because we're doing badly, but because I actually don't think that this is the right team for this. So, minus one week. Medical breakthrough. The time and gold were not spent in vain. However, as today caregivers announced, they have succeeded in concocting an effective antidote. The medical ward is free for this week only. Anyone new? No! <laughs> Dang it! Alright. Um, so the medical ward, not the treatment ward. I don't think we have any diseases, though. <sighs> this would be the full set for our man-at-arms if we could go get it. Now, who the heck are we going to bring? Because, I mean, I was feeling confident in that team, but that really just... Boy, that did not go well. At all. Um... I mean, there's a few options, but... Technically, bringing a level 3 team would be better for us, because... Obviously, we get to level some people up, get to do the boss. What if we bring Lilith? That way we can have some actual damage scaling. We bring the Flagellant. Uh, debatably, we could bring the Ronin. As long as you're in the first two positions, it's fine. Alright, let's bring the Ronin. Now we need some kind of healer. And the Phlebotomist can heal, but it's a two-round cooldown, so I'd rather not do that. Ugh, oh, do we really want to bring an occultist for our healing? Yeah, why not? Let's play ballsy. Wow! What a scout, dude! What a scout! That was insane. Literally just full map scout. Man, much better place, too. Definitely not gonna complain about this one. I mean, unless we get the Crimson Curse, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna complain a lot. But, you know, we haven't gotten to that point yet. Now, what in tarnation is that thing, or mass of things, supposed to be? Is that a little... So, second rank captain, is it genuinely, like, little ticks, but one of the ticks has, like, a jacket on and he's standing on a rock? I mean, you, you gotta make it work somehow, I suppose. Oh, I just noticed the one with the hat in the background. <laughs> it's legit like an army of ticks that are pretending to be a guy. Alright, well, fair enough. Then let's see what you're made of, little tick abomination. Also, um, the knight has to go. Easily the most dangerous one here. Can we stun? If we can hit him. Uh. Hmm. Bit of bleed. Okay, five over six. Stack it up just a little bit more. Eleven. Uh, that's... That's a kill. He's dead. Yes! Most excellent. Don't stun. Thank you. Lilith can now stack. Midnight Munet. Oh, hi. Well, now you're first rank captain. Our friends information. 
Damage, cr accuracy, crit. Now, I'm not 100% sure if that was just for Midnight Munet or what. Ah, oh, none of you are bleeding anymore. Ugh. Well, so much for my extra 10%. Huh. I guess I'll just have to settle for a one-shot. I know, it's, it's very upsetting. I know you're just as upset as I am. Okay. Ah, we actually managed to bleed the gargoyle? That's, uh... Interesting. I guess it makes sense that gargoyles in the Crimson Court would be able to bleed, though, considering I'm sure most things here are, like, infused with blood. So, I mean, it makes sense to me. Reinforcements! Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, wow! You have to die! You are suddenly first priority when you show up. That is a huge thing that you can do. You can just summon an entirely new array of dudes? Good to know, I suppose. Alright, we get it. You're maddening and whine. Okay, stack a bleed on them, and then start going for the captain again. Uh... Actually, it's kind of good that we got a low row heal. I, I don't know how much I actually want to heal the flagellant. Nine damage. Oh, you're so low. Defensive positions. Uh, 15 dodge, 50% accuracy, 3 speed. The thirst. Yeah, good luck with that. Lilith is uh, the only one on this team who is not going to have that happen. <laughs> ah, and then we got a dodge. That's nice. Hooah! I'll take my 10% now, thank you. Okay, we also got a refresh and the heal all in a single go. Mark the Mosquito in the back, and we should be able to take out both. Works for me. We got another heal, and it was a crit this time. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Six damage, you're not quite dead. Hopefully you don't heal too much. Okay, no curse. Um, you're dead. You're almost dead. Now you are dead. Okay, so there's only one left, technically, and it's this one. And he's dead, too. Hey, because we refreshed, <laughs> I'll take a, uh, a little bit of an extra percent. Go ahead and set up a repost, because nothing we do actually matters right here. That is pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with that. Key. Uh, I'll take the hood, I guess. I mean, more trinkets, you know. Trinkets can be worth a pretty penny, but, you know, it's good to have one of each trinket. Secret room. Ooh, and it's a good kind. Give me something good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, now I already know exactly what I'm going to get rid of. Key, gold, shovel. Reason being, uh, this gold is equal to the amount of gold we get from the emerald. We know there's not going to be any roadblocks. And we're not going to need a key because we just got the secret uh, room. So, uh... Okay, well, I guess our flagellant just wanted to be stressed out a little, a little bit. One of our hopes just upgraded. And now, it's time. Uh, actually, should we camp? Do we have any... Oh, yes, we do, actually. Hang on. Good thing we camped. Also, uh, I don't seem to remember this always being the case, but Lilith actually kept her damage up despite camping. I thought she lost it if she camped. Meh, well, I'm not gonna complain. Time to go for the nest. Immediately we deal 34 damage to it. That's, uh, that's pretty spicy. Oh, it's so close to being dead. All right, let's start lowering the damage of the first one. Um. I'm gonna save this. 
17 crit. Oh, we don't manage to bleed it, though. Thunderous wine. Okay, didn't actually manage to hit anybody. Pierce. Ow. I have a feeling that had a chance for a Crimson Curse roll, too. But I'm just going to take all of your life. 70% <laughs> damage. 42 crit heal. You love to see it. We also got another refresh. Wow. So what is this again? 10% chance? Yeah, I'm kind of not believing that. I'm, uh, I'm not really believing that at all. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. I am not believing that's a 10% chance. We've gotten it way too many times for it to be 10%. I mean, you never know. I, I guess technically it could be. But am I that lucky? I don't know. That, that seems, uh luckier than usual now I now I know it's it's pretty much a meme at this point that my luck is either like the worst thing in the world or the absolute best thing in the world but I mean it's not this good so 39 damage wow that actually looks like it did less damage than uh, I'm comfortable with he's a pretty tanky boy Confuses and stuns if in lure. Debuffs and stresses. Okay. Well, then I think it's time. First, the serum. Then, we begin. I mean, that's fairly good damage. Definitely nothing to complain about. A thousand arms! Even though he immediately revived it. Uh, what are we at? Eight over six? Oh, that's plenty. Especially if I can just keep stacking my damage. <laughs> we got another refresh! Dude, there's no way. It's like 100%. There's no way. Look at the damage we're doing! Dude, 90% more damage and 20% because of our camp and an extra 15% on top of that. You really can't make this stuff up. This is, uh, Peak Lilith. Peak Lilith Gaming. <laughs> the Biotin's Fury. I mean, that sounds bad, and you also immediately got a crit. What do, what do you have? A thousand arms! Oh, wow. Yeah, you're, uh, you're getting a lot of stats suddenly. But do I care? No! You want to know why? Because I keep getting... We got another one! Dude, there's no... This is ridiculous. Literally 100% chance. Watch this. One shot... One kill. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. He's at one health. <coughs> the occultist got the kill all on her own. Dude, I never thought that the occultist could be this good. But apparently, the occultist is the best class in the entire video game. Mark of the Outcast. Not going to be using it. Encore Accolades. Oh, hey, it's that trinket that we saw. <laughs> ah, boy. You know? Feels good when a plan comes together. I'm going to leave the one blood and take three deeds. That seems worthwhile to me. So. Yeah, this went pretty well. <laughs> Not only did we only have, like, four fights in the whole dungeon, one of which was the boss. Uh, yeah. 16 point... Oh, let, let's round up. 17k gold. We got two more Crimson Curse trinkets. We got another Viscount's Invitation. Slugger. Oh. Uh, Eagle Eye. Uh, replace Natural Swing. Tetanus. Oh. And Inui. Oh. Oh, hey. A vagrant professor of the mine is visiting the hamlet. He has offered to see some of your heroes and cure them of their mental ailments at a discounted price. 
make use of this offer. That does sound nice. Anyone new? Oh, there's a split second. I thought there actually was this time. Uh, so, treatment ward, right? That seems to be the case. 3k to remove something that's locked in? Ooh, but we can only deal with two characters. I'm actually curious who we should do that with. Hmm. Uh, I'll, I'll scroll through our characters and see who has, like, kind of the worst stuff. But in the meantime, while I think of that, where do we want to go? Uh, there is still this cove boss. That is a very bad idea to go to right now, though. We technically could go kill the swine god, but that's a little bit early. So, I think it's basically just gonna be the ruins. I think we gotta do a little bit of ruins. Um, and are we out of level 3 bosses? Well, no, technically, we still have the miller. The miller's one of the level 3 bosses. Um, should we go get him? I'm kind of tempted to... You know what? What if we bring me, we bring Rachel, can you go on the third position? No. Uh, let me see. Alzamat. Mika technically could work, but I don't know if that's a great idea. Flan would make things ridiculously easy. You know what? Fine. We're just going full at OP and we're just gonna go murder the Miller. <laughs> House real big, car real big, girl real big, everything real big. <laughs> it's time. After we double dodge. Wait for it, wait for it. It's gonna be good. Wait for it. Hang on. <laughs> ah. Wow, that actually didn't hurt that bad. Oh, hey. Yeah, that works out. Feet. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, maybe that one's a little bit too much. Maybe, uh... <laughs> you know what? We've gotten away with her so far. I don't know if we're getting away with that one. It's kind of... There's a full moon going on, if you know what I'm saying. Now, that being said, uh, she did actually manage to get afflicted. And I can't help but notice her affliction, every so often, she gives us 5% stacking damage for one battle. Which, you know, might not sound like a lot, but that's really useful. Now, of course, she is also going to be doing damage to our team but we kind of just don't care because we'll just heal it back up. Real big. Oh, I thought she was going to stay big. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? She stays in between four, uh, in between fights? But no, no, she does not. Also, I thought that I was going to be a really bad pick here. And, you know, I hadn't realized it until we were already part way in. But no, um, she actually refreshes her own abilities. It just doesn't say that. When you change your forms, you actually refresh everything in the other form. So, for example, we're in Axe form right now. If we use up everything and then go to Sickle form, all of our Axe abilities will be refreshed. Likewise, if we go from Sickle back to Axe, then that will be refreshed. So, yeah, she's actually just pretty solid. Now, of course, the uh, doing damage to allies thing, eh, debatably not great, but what are you going to do? It's bound to happen sometimes, right? Unless we brought both Lilith and the Mesmer, but I, you know, we could do that. But at the same time, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, big knife. 16 damage, max roll, with a bleed, um, friendly communication, how are you doing my fellow foes, okay, they all get minus, wait, what, 
Isn't isn't this supposed to be dodge? Yeah, minus 45% dodge. Uh, but it says speed. So apparently they're gaining 25% speed, but losing 45% speed. So, you know, that's all right. That's all right. Swap to the Reaper Shroud. And now, prepare for their death. Well, we hit them all pretty hard. Um, you're not dead. You're still alive as well. Okay. No trespassers! Ow. Goodness, she has so much health. 83. Wow, you're, uh, you're pretty tanky. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You get real big, you get big health pool. <laughs> oh, dude, this is so dumb. I Like, we are so unbelievably strong with this team. Everyone just has, like, a million damage. And it helps that we're doing a bunch of true damage as well. Oh. Hey, there's that stacking 5%. Everyone does get a little bit stacked out from it, but at the same time, it's, uh... Kind of just fine. Now, is there anything we can use that'll be okay? Eh. We'll go for the AoE, just because we don't really have any other options. That should kill the corpse. Uh, but just in case. 114 damage! Oh my god, it's a shame we use that on a corpse and not an actual enemy, because, uh... Ah, that sure would be something. Now, obviously, we can't heal Rachel because she's not using her own health pool, but it's time to get real big! <laughs> Do you have any idea what you have unleashed on this world? You will. I don't even think she's going to be able to do anything. I think we went real big and then proceeded to do nothing. <laughs> but you know what? That's all right. We did a tiny bit of damage and we exploded a corpse. So technically, I'm the real winner here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Huh. Well, that went well. Oh, -ho! we finally stopped. Uh, do we want to camp? We don't really have any camping skills. Uh, I don't have any. I guess we can't be ambushed here, right? Well, actually, hang on. I know we can't be ambushed, but here's what I'm going to do. Everyone eat. Ah, good as new. Damage reflection. And then just a million potions. Nice. So what'd we get? Dex potion, dex potion, strength potion, strength potion. Okay. Well, I mean, that's not bad. More damage and more dodge, question mark? That's what I would imagine a dex potion is. And obviously we can't be ambushed. Is it Miller time? Oh, it is. <laughs> well, uh, we got to you really early, actually. Or at least it feels early. Behold the fumes. Now, I will go... I shouldn't. I will be fair to you, Miller. I will be fair to the Miller. Flail the crops. <laughs> the damage reflection. <laughs> oh, boy. I love it when a plan comes together. Give me your charge. We're getting real big. Real big one more time. <laughs> your soul. Give it to me. The master beckons. Ceaseless labor. Ooh, good dodge. All right. You guys to go. Then, spellcasting prep. Okay, debuff. Prepare spellcasting once more. 13, one off max roll. Flail the crops. <laughs> see you later, dude. Oh my god. You see what I mean? Everyone on this team is doing something ridiculous. Like, Everyone has something borked that they're doing. Uh, oh. 
10% damage. Oh no, 5%. Apparently we haven't gotten it yet. Uh, sickle? No, I can't change to sickle. Interesting. I wonder why. Oh, because technically we never left real big form, so we never actually got to reset our stuff. Oh. That could be a little bit of a problem, actually. We'll see. We'll see. It might be okay. Okay, summons. Hey, I know you! You were in the previous estate! I see you've returned to evil side. For that, you must burn! Ow. Um. Well, I'm out of moves. That sucks. <laughs> I officially can't do anything. The reaping! Um, I guess I just get to sit here and look pretty then. Unless, of course. Uh, you were dead by a lot. You get blighted because of our power. Very nice. The harvest. Nice miss, nerd. <sighs> so, all right. I was just going to go for the miller, but, uh, that guard is still in place. Now we can do damage. You know what? I'm th I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm doing it. Sacrifices for the greater good! <laughs> the form of a true vampire! By the way, I'm pretty sure she's from Toho, right? Like, I'm fairly certain about that. <laughs> I don't actually know, but I have a pretty good suspicion of it. Alright, it's time to pop some potions. Damage, dodge... Yep. Glass knife. Okay, we do manage to blight. We don't manage to bleed. The reaping. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, just 22 damage for free. Exit spell casting. And take her out. Time to go home. Oh, 4,200 gold. In total, we got 50 shards. Vertigo. Oh, second wind. Okay. Uh, we went up to level three and three level fours. Something emerges beneath the mill. A crystal and crystalline alienage emerges from the farmstead that was created by the comet roams in the surrounding regions the crystalline harbinger will now roam the estate well isn't that great anyone new new menu no new people all right let's see um can't go in here okay put you uh drink not that i drink myself but <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, I guess I do it like special occasions and stuff, but does that really count? I guess. So, oh yeah, I drink five times a year. Woo. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, crystalline. Oh wow. Uh, thing from the stars and the crystalline harbinger are both in the Warrens this week. So, yeah, let's stay clear of that. That's uh, kind of a problem. Not that we can, okay, we can, but not that we have a big reason to go there currently. <sighs> Let me think. Little bit, yeah, little bit more ruins. Hmm. Okay, now we're in an awkward spot. So I think what we need to do is just continue leveling as normal. Um, we honestly we don't have that many low level characters. But what we could do is... You're able to be ranged, right? Gunk shot. Uh, this is not going to be... Uh, this is going to be a little tricky. So, Fool, Cali, Tifa. Technically, Sue in the fourth position, but... 
what we could do is bring... Oh no, Battle Heal doesn't heal allies anymore. Dang, so we, we can't bring the Crusader. You know what? What if we brought Sarah, and then we just chance like a level 3 Cove dungeon or something? That might be what we need to do, uh, because we gotta get some of these characters leveled, but we're kind of running out of space to do that. Secret! Now, who gets to open it? Uh, Divinity, why not? Well, she got extra crests. I'm not gonna say no to that. Okay, so we're trying to gather up some relics, trying to level up some peeps. And so far, so good. Goodness gracious, the waifu curse has only accelerated here in the cove. Looks like we need to pick up our efforts. By the way, I was asked to get the the sea, no, the fish, fishman, 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 <laughs> one of those. Uh, I was asked to get that, so I, I installed these, uh, these new character mods. However, in hindsight, I'm pretty sure I was being asked to do a pelagic curse. <laughs> so, you know, probably should have thought that one through, but oh well. Let's get some strength. Then we get to go again, I think? Yes, we do. Okay, a little bit of AoE damage, a little bit of bleed. Every little bit helps. Do we do yeah? I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this. Final heaven! Well, we stunned him. It's a good thing, too, because he was buffed into oblivion, so I'd rather not deal with that much damage. Barnacle Barrier. Okay. That's fine. Open the gate! Now to travel back. Okay. Single target. Oh, much better. Much better. That's the kind of healing we needed. Stress wave. Don't care. Okay, a little bit of damage reflection. Who's a bigger threat right now? I actually, you know what? We're gonna use courage to protect. I actually feel like we need to get a little bit of uh, safety going on here. Lower the protection of her because she's going to be a menace to deal with. The scent of blood. Okay, it doesn't bleed us, that's fine. She doesn't bleed us either. Okay, pretty good. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. Burrowing. Okay, they should take a little bit more damage from her now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and heal herself. Straight back to full, you love to see that. Stress wave, it is not going to work, but nice try. Go ahead and bleed them all. Okay, well, we bled one, we marked the other. Can we kill 52? No. Worth looking at, though. You never know when you can sneak out a cheeky little execute. Hard to starboard. Okay, that's protection up, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. Okay, water kick. Man, you guys have a lot of protection. Okay, the bleed does not go off on Gaburra. Very nice. Mingle sobs and war cries. Okay, she's forcing herself to move back. Burrowing! You're dead. Good. I will take that. Okay, now go to the end. That moves us back. Go for Martyrize. Okay, four damage. Uh... Go back to Trinity. Assumption. Okay. Pretty good turn. Call of the Deep. That's not going to matter because she's going to die to her dots. Onrush? <laughs> 
Your guardian stood no chance. Okay, now you're still alive. Not anymore. And you're dead to dots. Oh. Well, it gets the job done. Okay. Motion coin. Use one food, one food. Oh, I would love to take these, but we kind of need everything. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Curio, Curio. Quest location, Curio. And then we can just keep going that way. Okay. Alright. Bam. We could potentially just use another one. Okay, that'll clean up an inventory slot for us. I'm going to take a sap. Fire, yeah. Okay. Let's move down to get this curio. We can get rid of our key. Unless it stacks? No, of course not. Bonk. There we go. Okay, now we move backwards into here. Oh no, this hasn't been a bad dungeon. Also, you might have noticed... <coughs> I forgot to go over what we have. Callie the Red Mist with the Crimson Scar, the Hammer of Tongs, all of her abilities. Tifa with the Choco Feather, the Ancestor's Map, all of her abilities. The Fool with the three-headed dog effigy, fortifying garlic, whale because we have to, burrowing first circle and fifth circle. And then of course, Sarandriel, the divinity, with Junia's head, hand of the outsider, and all of her abilities. Oh dear. It's only getting worse. These fish women think themselves invulnerable. Let us teach them otherwise. Damage reflection on everyone in the team. Fairly good damage, actually. That's like a good 60% of her health. Oh, if we would have bled, that would have been it. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. Still dead. Ugh. Well, ugh. you know what time it is. It's camping time. All right, everyone, enjoy a nice little rest. Is there any boss we can do? Let's see. Uh, less accuracy? Yeah, that sounds cool. Hmm. Random trinket from you. Oh, for the solution. Okay, well, that works. Let's see, paint side, why not? Oh, we did not shuffle where the fool is. Uh-oh. We'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um. Hmm. Tent. There we go. Welcome back, you massive beast. Okay. How are we gonna do this? Um. First things first. Get some stacking heal power. We're gonna need it. Then, get you out of the way. Good. Now there's no chance that anything happens. The red door. Okay. Two more red doors to go. Everything is going to be fine. Um, Technically, if we buffed up your health, I wonder what that would do. It'd probably break the fight, truthfully. Um, yeah. Let's keep using one of these. Ooh, can Gaburna pass? All right. Well, you're shuffling with Tifa, then. Saves us a little bit of stress. Okay, second red door. 
You got a crit. That's going to be a little bit of stress. Only on the divinity, though, which is not a problem at all. Keep getting that healing increase going. You never know. Shuffle with Gabura. Or shuffle with Kali, sorry. Um, go ahead and pass our turn once again. The final red door. Okay. Uh, let me think. Now, I just need to check this quickly. Okay, no, we can't. All right, good to know. I was gonna see if maybe we can transfer the blight to... Ourself. Oh, it's because we have Faithful Drop in the inventory, duh. <laughs> I was like, what? Why, uh, why'd you suddenly gain health? Okay. Black door. How bad? Uh, not, not bad. Okay. All right. Manageable. Manageable. This is going to be no problem. We've got enough health to deal with this. Get rid of that. Swap here. Get rid of that. And swap here. Then, get rid of that one. And pass your turn. Good. Everything is going according to plan. And there she is once again. Alright. Heal up Tifa. Although, Hello Paradol is going to have that no problem. Swap again past the final turn and nightmare number two is complete the broken liar on miss we lose three health but on hit we gain crit and on hit we also lose accuracy but on kill we gain some stress boink third emotion coin and that is basically going to be it for this dungeon. We only have one more nightmare event to go for the fool. Overall, uh, the nightmare events haven't gone nearly as bad as I was expecting them to. I was really expecting someone to die in all of them, but it's not quite as deadly as I remember. Let's go home. What did we get? We got... Rounding up, 12k gold, the Buffoon's Folly, 12 Crests, and we got three level threes, one almost level three. You got soft again? <sighs> Hot to try, Inui, quick reflexes, and soft. Lost and found. In the end, the hours of rooting through the old barrels and forgotten weapon racks bore fruit. One free weapon upgrade. Anyone new? No! Technically, this is new, but this is more something that we're not using. <laughs> it's a little too much, even for this estate. All right, well. This has gone pretty well. So, no new bosses here. You can show up at the farmstead? Wow, okay. Good to know. All right, well. All in all, I am pretty happy with the amount of progress we got in this episode. I am going to upgrade you to level 4. And with that, I believe that is going to do it for this episode of the Waifu Revenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. It was a little bit extra long. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I say that all my videos are long, but this one was slightly longer so you know that's that's pretty cool by the way we do actually have a uh, someone with the pelagic embrace I, it's not the easiest thing to get these and it's not terrible like honestly the pelagic embrace is kind of nice for a disease like the minus blight resist does suck but it actually gives you a lot of interesting stats but regardless we have pretty much our entire roster 
except for two people who are level three and above so we're doing really really well strength wise death wise we still only have two deaths technically three <sighs> so i mean we're not doing bad especially considering we're currently on week 62 we're still under the time limit of the base um time restriction so i mean yeah certainly not going bad still got plenty of time still got a bunch of levels that we need to get but i think we can pretty much end this estate in a fairly good state <laughs> if uh everything keeps going the way that it's going now so without further ado thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this episode of the wife of revenge and i will see you in the next one bye